Currently joined by Buffalo head coach Trina Peel and Ball State head coach Tyra Perry. You guys were, uh, you guys both have an LSU connection. Just talk about your guys' friendship. Well, Tyra was my host on my recruiting visit to LSU, so. So um, many years ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. But, um, you know, we have that LSU bond. It's a great um, university with a great tradition. So Tigers pretty much are bonded for life. Trina, you got to play two years with Tyra's sister. What was that like for you? Uh -oh. And Coach Perry, just talk about what you had learned about her from your sister. Uh, Taryn is awesome. Taryn is like the opposite of Tyra. She's really quiet, funny. Not to say she's not funny, <laughs> but you know, Taryn was a great teammate, fun to play with for sure. Uh, Taryn just always talked about Trina being one of the best players in um, LSU history and just uh, the talent that she had in the outfield. They were fellow outfielders mm -hmm. and um, what Trina could do at the plate was just unreal. And I know Taryn had a great time playing with Trina. And Trina was one of your assistants at uh, Birmingham Southern. Just talk about your time being her boss. Well, I was uh, in a situation where I needed some help, and I called Trina, and she came and um, moved to Birmingham and just uh, did a tremendous job helping to develop our infielders and um, the pitching staff. That was my first job, so it was great to have someone with me uh, with the knowledge that Trina has. and. Um, with the uh, expertise that she has in so many different areas and she really helped, helped get the program going. And finally for both of you, just talk about your success coming in, first year head coaches, Mackey's title, first in program history, right. three-peat for Ball State now under your leadership and your first year. Just talk about what each of you were able to accomplish this year. Well, it was exciting for me coming in. Buffalo didn't really have a softball tradition of any sort so just creating a winning culture creating a mindset of you know setting the standard really of winning is our expectation and that's you know what we are here to do you know creating swag that's like on the back of our shirts if you can see swag like trying to teach them that to have a presence have a you know something that kind of defines you and who we are so that's kind of been our thing get gaining confidence and playing the game hard respecting the game and we'll get the results if we do that and that's kind of what we've done this year well I was uh, lucky enough to inherit a, a great squad uh, Craig Nicholson did a great job uh, getting the program where it is uh, at this point and um, just working with some wonderful young ladies and getting an opportunity to meet all the Mac coaches and um, well, not all of them because we had a few rainouts <laughs> and a snow lot of outs, rain but, yeah, <laughs> getting an opportunity to just to meet, a, you know, a new set of coaches in the MAC and, and work with, um, you know, just some great, tremendous uh, coaches like uh, Trina here. And um, it's just been great. It's been wonderful. And I guess one last question. Got, being the number one and number two seeds, you guys won't get to meet till later in the tournament. What would that be like for both of you? Oh my gosh. That'll be good. Tiger against Tiger. Hey, <laughs> I'm glad I don't see her till later on. So that's a positive. And you know, it'll be a dog fight. The one on the West versus the one on the East, you know, it'll be good. Two great programs. It'll just, I'm sure it'll be a close game. So it'll be fun. It'll, I think it'll be exciting. I know Trina's an excellent coach. And um, so I know we'll, have to definitely bring our A game if we, we do end up seeing Buffalo in the end, and I think it'll be exciting.